Hello everyone, my name's Helen Noble, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Helen Noble, celebrant of Surrey and founder of Swansong. I give you each week some inside know-hows, tips, tricks, knowledge on all things ceremony. Weddings, funerals, namings, divorce, healings, housewarmings and everything in between. Uh, this week I'm talking about how to make space for faith. So this week, how to make space for faith and why is that a thing? Well, with a registrar-led wedding, there is no space for faith because they have to be 100% down the line, not politically biased in any way. So you get readings like Winnie the Pooh, if I loved you for a thousand years, or The Velveteen Rabbit, which are lovely, lovely readings. I've, um, the Velveteen Rabbit particularly is gorgeous, actually. I've got a soft spot for that one. Um, in a registrar-led ceremony, you cannot have space for faith. You have to submit all your words to all your readings. You have to submit the lyrics to your songs. For example, you couldn't even have um, Robbie Williams' Angels, because Angels, of course, has religious connotations, and therefore, you couldn't have it. You could have a string version, because there are no words, um, but everything you have at a registrar-led ceremony, you must submit, including all the lyrics to every song. If that kind of doesn't really fulfil you, then there is another option, of course. Um, now, again, that's not all celebrants. If you have a humanist celebrant, they are actively agnostic. They believe they have their own doctrine. Um, and they will bring that to the ceremony, which is fine. Um, as an independent celebrant, which is what I am, I will make space for faith, whatever that will be. Now, the big difference is I'm not ordained, so I can't do anything in the name of or through me um, because I'm not a minister. <laughs> um, but as an independent, I will make space for faith. And how might that look? So in a church, if you'll get married, um, in Church of England Church and your vicar's pretty chilled and quite happy for you to have a non-religious wedding, it will be non-religious to a point, but the fact it's in a church, of course it's going to be religious. So your vows and the sermon, it will all incorporate Christianity. And you will, as far as I'm aware from all the vicars I've spoken to, you must have at least one Bible reading. You can choose a second reading that is a different, you know, Captain Crowley's mandolin. It's all very lovely. Um, and you can have a non-religious reading at a religious wedding, but it must contain at least one Bible reading if you are having a Christian wedding. It has to contain some kind of scripture. Independent celebrant, we could we'd just do whatever. So you've, you've done your legals, you got married for 15 minutes and it's £48 each, so you can get married for under 100 quid. Yes, you can get married for under a hundred quid. You go in, you do your IDs, you have your little interview, you check not, you're not being coerced into marriage and that you're not who, you're not not who you said you were and you haven't got a husband in the cupboard. Um, and so when your legals are correct, you can then are free to have any kind of wedding you like. And with a independent celebrant, you literally can have any wedding you like. And it can be anywhere as long as you've got the landlord's permission. We can't just like gate crash someone's back garden <laughs> or you know take hold of someone's field and go we're having this field for the day um as long as the landlord landlady uh landowner says yep fill your boots we can have a wedding anywhere so with a independent celebrant led wedding where you do want to make space for faith it might be you do have a bible reading it might be you want me to write some prayers it might be you've got a mate who is actually the vicar up the road, but you're not quite on the page enough to have a church wedding, but you don't want to not have it a little bit churchy. Um, and so actually, I'm all for sharing. I'm like, well, come and say some prayers. How lovely. And I'll sort of hand over and they can do their blessing. So at the end of the wedding, you can actually have a blessing because the vicar is there as a guest and as an invitee and speaker rather than... Um, 
their own venue manager. So a vicar can only marry you in their own church. They can't marry you in the churchyard. They can't marry you in the field in the parish, which is a little bit ridiculous. They can only marry you in their own church. If you've got a vicar that you like, but you found a different church and you think, oh, I really like that church, but I really want that vicar. You can't have that vicar in that church. You have to have the vicar that belongs to that church, unless that vicar's really chilled out and like, do you know what? If you've got a mate that's a vicar, he's welcome to come. He might also say some prayers, but at the end of the day, you need to get married by the person whose venue you're in. FYI. Um, so with me, um, you do sort of want it all. You don't want to say no to anything. So it might be that you do have your vicar from when you were christened and has seen you growing up as a child, write you some prayers or write. I mean, actually, my I did it for my parents' Ruby wedding anniversary. Um, they didn't want to do they, they were like, oh, no, no, I can't have a fuss. And they didn't want to do speeches or anything. Um, so we had a garden party, but I did ask the vicar to write a prayer, which I then read out in the garden at the party um, because my parents definitely wanted something religious at their do. So you can in, you can incorporate a, a prayer either that you want to write, a family member wants to write, your priest might want to write, you might ask me to write it, fine, so you can include prayers. It might be you want to have a blessing. Now, anyone can invite a blessing. Someone sneezes, you say, oh, bless you. Um, send the children up to bed, oh, God bless. Anyone can invite a blessing. But if you actually want the dog collar, then invite someone who happens to be ordained and they can actually give you a blessing. They can't marry you outside of the venue, but they can still bless you in the name of. That's the big difference. So you can have a reading, a Bible reading. You can have prayers. You can have a blessing. Oh, the dog, can you hear the dog? <laughs> Other religions, sometimes it's mainly cultural rather than the religious but it's come through religion and has become cultural. So actually we can incorporate it because it's cultural rather than religious, but we are making space for faith. And if someone wants to take a little bit more away from that ceremony we did, then absolutely. In other ceremonies, um, particularly at a funeral, it might be we have a reflection track and I will say, we're now gonna come to our reflection music, look out the window and daydream, or this is your quiet time to prayer if you wish. So for me, I think it's really important to make space for faith if the couple want it. It's also quite important just to give everyone else in the room, if they want a moment just to be like, oh, do you know what, I wanna show some gratitude to the powers that be, um, then we make space for that. You won't get that with a humanist celebrant and you won't get that with a registrar because that's not their either doctrine or what they're legally allowed to do. Independent celebrant, no rules. I'm hired by you to deliver what you want. The only rules are, I can't do it in the name of the Lord, and I don't come with a church. <laughs> so, hope that's helpful. Um, put some comments down if there's anything else you want to delve into, any other topics you might want me to address, but um, I'm gonna go and walk the dog, because obviously you can hear him going, oh, I really want to walk. Um, so lots of love, talk to you soon. Find me on Instagram at Celebrant of Surrey or Swan Song with Helen Noble for funerals, helen-noble.co.uk. But otherwise, hit the bell and subscribe, and I will see you next week for more ceremony goodness. Bye for now.